Hey, Eddie Real here. I just figured I would uh, do a little blog here. That's what you call it on YouTube. Pertaining to a post I left about a week ago, which I stated, you know, there seems to be a lot of singer-songwriters out there that um, play a lot of a lot of covers rather than, you know, their own stuff. And I've got a barrage of stuff back on that. I guess that was the wrong thing to say. And I don't even know if that was really, you know what I was intending to, whatever, whatever people got out of that probably wasn't what I was intending to say anyway. So I basically just didn't want to um, just leave it at that with, you know, being typed it's way different than if somebody's talking to you and telling you what they're feeling. And um, I got nothing against anybody who plays tons of covers. I respect a lot of guys who do it and, and women and whatever. Um, I listen to covers. I play covers myself. I learned on, on cover songs, man. We all steal something from somebody. And um, I consider myself a songwriter as well as the next guy considers himself a songwriter. And uh, that's not what I was saying. But um, what I do want to say now in, in response to all the comments I got is that um, no matter how you're looking at it, like the guys that went back and said, well, hey, man, you know, I do covers and I do them in my own interpretation so that they're original in my own sense. True. Can't argue that point all day. The way I see it is if, if, you're, if you're doing somebody else's music, no matter what spin you put on it, it's, it's still not technically an original song. Whereas those guys can say, well, okay, well, you're writing a song about something, but it's technically not original because every note, every chord, every word's been spoke. True. So I guess that all doesn't really matter, but um, um, to me, I, th I think it does, but it doesn't really matter who's doing what out there on the scene, as long as you're doing what you love, and that's what brought me to this blog, because I've gotten all sorts of um, advice about, you know, well, covers, and linking with crowds, and having enough material. I'm fully aware that it's really hard to have an hour and a half worth of material to uh, to play at a show. That's why I don't book shows that often, you know. And I rather like doing a three-song open mic. And if you go all over the place and you do them in all kinds of situations, you run into knowing whether people like your stuff or they don't. You know, because most open mics are forgiving. They'll 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 give you a, a good uh, amount of attention no matter what. But I've done other situations other than just these open mics, and um, I also have a pretty good size internet following and um, I do what I do for the same reason you guys do what you do because I love it I love to write a lot of covers you know um, pardon me if I thought that you know a singer songwriter you know in this area or anywhere was supposed to write more of their own stuff maybe that's maybe that's the wrong thing for me to think or say or whatever I don't even know but um, I uh, I don't really do it to um, to uh, try to uh, be a good time, Charlie. I write my life story in my own interpretation of words and chord arrangements, and I call them my own. And I play them because I love to do it. I play them for or for for people to see if you know I can share that with them. If they like it, great. If they don't. That's cool, too. Um, so, uh, on a lighter note, anybody watching this, or anybody wants to go out and see the Eddie Real solo acoustic, if you're expecting me to, you know, play jukebox songs all night, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> but if you want to hear what i got to say, well, check it out. Peace.